It is a major blow to workers and possibly to Clay County's economy. Navistar Defense in West Point is planning to lay off hundreds of people within the next few weeks. Employees got the notice last Friday. According to the Golden Triangle Development Link, the layoffs are a result of low market demand from one of the company's suppliers. Achilles Shields joins us live from West Point with the latest. Keely. The news of this large wave of layoffs comes as a shock to many as plans were laid out earlier this spring. Now 200 people will be looking for new jobs. What's next for Mississippi is is more of this and uh, what's next for West Point is another 400 jobs here at Navistar in this very location. That was in April. Now in October, there's news of layoffs, which come as a shock to not only the employees, but the community. Just six months ago, state officials visited the assembly plant to celebrate its contribution to Mississippi's record low unemployment. Now those numbers may be flipping after Navistar announced last Friday the company would be issuing layoffs. Some Navistar employees posted the notice and their frustration on social media. According to the Golden Triangle development link. The layoffs will come in two rounds and roughly 200 people are expected to lose their jobs. Mayor Rod Bobo says the layoffs will go into effect on October 26th. The reasoning behind this, uh, as I was told, was that they uh, had a key customer to, to reduce a substantial number of orders, which sparked this, this move. While the layoffs come right at the fourth quarter, resources are available to those affected. So the resources that come to mind, um, we'll be more than happy to point people in the right direction um, as far as the WIN Job Center is concerned uh, for job uh, you know, replacement. Um, also, I'm sure there'll be some unemployment benefits afforded to these, uh, to these people affected. Uh, I'm sure Navistar has some kind of succession plan um, to, to help people you know, get signed on for unemployment. I'm, I'm almost certain that they would do that. According to the notice released by Navistar, redu uh, reduction of the workforce is to be temporary, but plans to bring back those jobs won't be until around 2024. Reporting live in West Point, Keeley Shields, WCBI News.